Hi, my name is Brian, and this is part two of sketching the derivative. Uh, I found this site online, and I think it's a great site to practice sketching the derivative. So go ahead and go to this uh, link right here to practice. So I'm just going to let me give you a demonstration of how this works. Uh, you have in this darkened black graph here, this is f of x, and we want to sketch the derivative, which is made by um, <clears throat> these dots down here. Now I can adjust these. Okay, so if you watch the first video, you basically know that the slope on f of x, again, this is f of x, the slope on here would be the y values on this graph, the derivative. So let's go ahead and try to find the easy ones. So for example, right here, I have a slope of zero. So that means that I don't actually have that one there. So maybe if I use this point, uh, that maybe has a slope of, uh, it's close to zero, um, maybe like 0.1. So I guess we can make that pretty small, 0.1. Now here, I probably have a slope of, eh, I mean, and you're going to have to guess these. I wouldn't say 1. I would say maybe 0.75. All right. Uh, this one, it's negative, right? We're going down. But not very, not very quickly. So maybe negative 0.1, negative 0.2. All right. So here I have a slope still negative, maybe negative 0.5 or negative 0.75. All right. Here it's it's actually pretty close to this one. So I'd probably say the about the same thing. Okay. Now this one we're now positive again. So I would say maybe positive 0.25, something like that. Here, I'd probably ha say a slope of 1 or close to it. Uh, this one, I'd probably say also slope of 1, maybe. Maybe a little bit more than 1. Now oh, good, close to 1. Okay, and then this one probably a little less than one, so maybe 0.75. Then this one's actually pretty close to zero. Now, notice at this point, you are you do have a slightly negative slope. So I'm gonna go and make that like negative 0.1. This one's actually a pretty steep slope, right? Um, I would probably say this is a negative two. And notice the slopes are actually just getting steeper, so this one is steeper than at this point, so I'd probably go a little bit lower, and that's even steeper. Okay, so I set these up so all the y values on this okay, represent the slopes on the original function f. So what you do is <clears throat> you'd go down to the bottom and you'd say check accuracy. So let me scroll down. Oops. Okay, so then check accuracy. It says 88%, and then you can show results. So I'm 88% correct. So I'm not too bad, right? So here's the actual real derivative. So it's pretty close. And then what you could do is you can go and reset the graph, and you can do it all over again. So you go ahead and go to this website and give it a shot.